Wrestling Alliance and the amazing Amazons of Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. In this corner, the World Championship Wrestlers of the National Wrestling Alliance. Brian Brian Tillman, G-Man, Tom Drake, the Handyman, Brad Armstrong, here in the Rock. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling, Paul Stallone, in this corner, Jackie Stallone, the diver, Mount Gigi, Hollywood, and Justin. Let's get ready. It's an exciting finish. I've got the trophy in my hand that I will be awarding today to the champion of the Family Feud Wrestling Special. We have the Glow Women, which will be introduced in just a moment. But right now, trying to play for their favorite charity, the men of the WCW, headed by the world's heavyweight wrestling champion, we welcome Sting, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. From the National Wrestling Alliance, Sting. Who'd you bring with you today to help you get the chance to play for the 10,000? I brought Z-Man, Tom Zink. Welcome, Z-Man. Thank and you. And I brought Flying Brian Pillman. Welcome to the show. And I brought the Candyman, Brad Armstrong. Welcome yeah. back. And I brought the guy that says it all, Jim Ross. The color commentator. Yes, sir. And you have a fine charity. And yeah, the, the charity is the Starlight Foundation for children that are seriously ill. And I just want to start a chant right now. Girls, you can join in too. Five, five, five. Five, 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 Right next to me, I have Mountain Fiji from Samoa. Welcome, Mountain Fiji. Hi. I have the British, uh, oh, the British blonde show. Oh, Could it be the British bombs show? <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, the beautiful Godiva. Yes, and? And from New York, Justice. Welcome, yeah. Justice. And, and on the end. we have Jackie Stallone with us. All right. Welcome, Our man. the mother of the glow women. And who, the charity you're playing for? Uh, the name of the charity is Illizur, and it's a national charity to teach kids how to play sports. A very fine charity. Who will get the chance to play for their favorite charity? We'll find out when we play the feud. Let us go, Steve. Let us go, Hollywood. Last one. They shake hands. First team to three hundred dollars will play for the ten thousand. Good luck to both. We ask a hundred people this question, and we put the top five answers on the board. Try to find the most popular answer to this question. Name a magazine where people often just look at the picture. Hollywood. Star. Let me see. Star. Not there. Sting. Name a magazine where people often just look at the pictures. Playboy. Let me see. Playboy. <laughs> Number one. Think of a steel glow winner. Z-Man. A magazine where people often just look at the pictures. It's a toughie. Penthouse, maybe? Could it be Penthouse? <laughs> <laughs> Did not yeah. make our survey. Z. Lion Bryant. Car and driver. Let me see. Car and driver. Uh, Not there. Two strikes, they may get a chance to steal Candyman, a magazine where people often just look at the pictures. Uh, a sales catalog. Is that good enough, Judge? How about a sales catalog? Uh, $55 coming your way, Glow Women, if you name a magazine where people often just look at the picture. It has to be Hustler. Hustler? Justice? TV Guide. TV Guide? Good Life I... Magazine. Life Magazine. National Geographic. National Geographic. <laughs> Hollywood. Some tough choices. You can steal 55 Hustler. bucks. I'm going to go Hollywood is Hustler. Hey. Hustler. You're going with? Life Magazine. She goes under duress for the steal with Life Magazine. <laughs> Number two. We heard some fine choices. Let's see if they made our survey. A magazine where people often just look at the pictures. Number three. National Geographic. Said by Mount Fiji. Number four. People. Not said. And number five. 
Bones. You'll be in the boat and be here right after these messages. Please, don't go on. You are going to ask my good friend Gene Wood to tell you how. If your family would like to try out for Family Feud and you live in the Los Angeles area, call area code 213-965-9999. If you live in the San Diego area, call area code 619-223-2101. Back to Ray. Thank you, Gene Wood. Call today. We'll see your family on the feud. The Glow Women, $55. The WCW Men, zero. Here we go. Yeah. Five in a row, baby. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> the top eight so. answers are on the board. We ask 100 people specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Mountain Fiji. Truth or consequences? She says the very first game <laughs> she ever learned to play was truth or consequences. <laughs> <laughs> There's the consequence of not knowing our survey. Stay here, Z-Man. Specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Oh. Cards. He says cards. What kind of cards? Uh, what what uh, card game? Which card game? Um, concentration. He says concentration card game. Let me see concentration. Uh, no one moves. Stay right here. Listen to me, Godiva. Specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Candyland. She says Candyland. There it is. <laughs> Brian, Brian, we've got five, eight, six answers that give you control. Come back here, Mount Fiji. Specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? We're going to pass go on this one, Monopoly. Let me see Monopoly. <laughs> Not there. The women have control. Here we go, right over here. Listen carefully. Specifically, Justice, what is the very first game you ever learned to play? Mother, may I? Yes. Let me see good. Mother, may I? <laughs> That's one strike. Here we go. Jackie, specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? I'll never forget. Post office. Let me see. Post office. Did not make our survey. We've got $6 in the bank. Maybe you're thinking the wrong way to all people. Listen to the question carefully. We ask 100 people, specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Hide and seek. Let me see. Hide and seek. Number one! Yeah. Mount Fiji. Specific. Going around the Maypole. Let me see. Going around the Maypole. <laughs> not there. But I'm not going to laugh at Mount Fiji. Jim, specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Tic Tac Toe. Tic Tac Toe? Yeah, kick the can. Kick the can? Flying Brian tag, going. Tag. Sting, you got the answer? Tag. He's still in the bank. Tag. He says freeze with. Tag. Tag. Freeze tag. Freeze tag. There it is. Hey. WCW, get in the game. They take $30. There's four or five answers we didn't know. Specifically, what's the very first game you ever learned to play? Here's a teaching moment, America. Number two. Hopscotch. The very first game on our survey was number three. Oh, oh wait. Wait. Number four. Patty cake. Tied. Patty cake, old maid, tag, all tied. Here we go. And number six. Baseball, softball. And finally, number eight. Go fish. We don't want you to go fish. We're going to come right back with a lot more beauty. Fine. Please, please. We're shooting the women $55 for WCW 30. Here we go with another baseball. Good night. Again, Brian, Brian. Take no prisoners. You're taking no prisoners? Well, Absolutely if you do, not. frisk them. Huh? Oh, we're still better looking than them. You are better looking. Here we go. We won't argue that point. <laughs> the top five answers are on the board. The question. Name a part of the body for which people do special exercises. Godiva. Stomach. She says the stomach. Number one. Think of a steal. Here come the glow women. Justice. Name a part of the body for which... People do special exercises. The legs. Let me see the legs. Is there? Yeah. I know. Okay. The thighs. That, yeah. Show me no, the thighs. <laughs> Not there. That's true. Seventy-three dollars in the bank. Hollywood, stop tapping. Let's oh, concentrate. I'll I, do this for you. Part of the body for which people do special exercises. Their bust. Their chest. <laughs> How do you do that? 
You know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Can I see it real quickly? What is that exercise? How is it that I do it? it? I can tell you perfected it. All right. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> the bust. It's there. Mountain Fiji, the part of the body for which people do special exercise. The gluteus maximus. Yeah. The, the gluteus maximus. All right, that's it. The butt. I'll translate that. Oh. But All right. <laughs> Show me the gluteus maximus. The bottom. All right. Godiva, how appropriate. You can bring home this bank and a big lead for the yeah. glow women. If I've you name a part two. of the body for which people. You've got what? I've got two. Yes, you do. But if you could just answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> we can always edit, I'll tell you, but you can't pass a line like that up. Shame on me. <laughs> Shame on me. Here we go. A part of the body, I'm glad I'm wearing makeup because I am red. A part of the body for which people do special exercises. Arms. Let me see the arms. Oh. That's two strikes. All right, oh, Justice, God, yeah. you, can get, you can get the bank. A part of the body for which people do special exercises. Calves. Yes. She says, yes. for the bank, calves. Not there. Gentlemen, they're going to keep the bank unless you name a part of the body for which people do special exercises. Jim? Back. 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 Shoulders. Back. Shoulders. Voice. The man says voice. Yeah. Morton. Or yeah. neck. Back. Back. Back or neck. We've got $85 yeah. up the grabs. Back. back. Sting says he's going to steal that bank with the back. Uh. It's not there. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling take the bank. Part of the body? You think it's neck? Show me number two. Hip. Not said. $140 for the Glow Women, the WCW 30. Here we go. The women are coming alive. The dollar value doubled. And the top four answers are on the board. Think carefully about this question. Name something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Candyman? Went up the hill. They went up the hill. Tis number two. Number one gives you control, Justice. Name something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Carried a pail of water. They went to carry a pail of water. It's number three. Think of a steal. The men have control. Here we go, Jim. Name something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Are you training for the big fight? I'm going to try to get ready for it. Saturday night, October 27th, Chicago. <laughs> Halloween Havoc. There's your shirt. Okay, I'll be ready, day, Jack. I will be there, and I will wear this shirt. I've got more shirts. I'm going to be in shape. But now we're getting back to something very serious, Jim. The nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Name something specific that happened in that nursery rhyme. Oh, Jack fell down. All right, yeah. show me. Jack yeah. fell down. Number one. Jack fell down. Takes the bank to $190 and sting. Something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Jill came tumbling after. She came tumbling after yeah. him. Uh, that is one strike. What are you going to say, Z-Man? Yeah, he broke his crown or something? He, all right. For the bank, did he break his crown? You got that bank. $230 for the WCW. 140 for the low one. Here we go. It's another face-off right now. Jackie Stallone against Jim. He will triple the dollar value. Whoever takes this question all the way out should win the game. The top four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people this question. Either hand you want there, Jackie. As long as you slap it with any body part before June. Here we go. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. Jim? Identification. Let me see. You should demand identification. Yeah. yeah. What kind? He needs a specific answer, Jim. Driver's license. Let me see. A driver's license. Good. It's number two. One answer more. His insurance. She says his insurance. Show it to me. Number one. Yeah. Think of the steel, man. Here come the women. Hollywood, bring it home. On, You've got on. the men on their knees. No, if no, you're, no, no. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. If they're hurt, I don't... You should demand if they are hurt. I don't know. Sorry. That's okay. One strike. I don't get an accident. That's all right. Mountain Fiji? Social Security. You want to know their Social Security... <laughs> Number. Uh, WCW, you will get a chance to win this game if Godiva doesn't know. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. Their phone number. You should demand their phone number. 
still alive. Come on, come on, come on. Again. If you give come me on. number three, Justice, what? What? if you're what? in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver for the game. What do you say? <laughs> Quickly. Registration. She says for the game, registration <laughs> is not there. WCW, Jim, help it out. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. Their name. Their name? It sounds Anything? good in their name. Place address. address. Address, their name. Sting, if you fail yeah, to give me number police three. Police report. The Glow Women are police playing for for $10,000. What do you say? Name. Three seconds. Name. Sting, Three seconds, Sting. Please. For you, Hollywood, name. <laughs> their name. Their the name. WCW their name. have stolen this game. If number three Stop. is their name. Yeah. with the WCW men in the Starlight Foundation. As we put 15 seconds on the clock, we wish good luck to the candy man. We ask 100 people, based on what you heard or believe, what do you think you'd find in heaven? Jesus. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? Never. Fabric used to make jackets? Wool. A month of baseball season? Uh, May. Something specific that kids take to school? Lunchbox. Turn around here. Let's see what you think, candy man. Based on what heard or believed, what do you think you'd find in heaven? You said, Jesus. Our survey said, three. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? You said, you read it never. Our survey said, 30. It's good. Could not read your horoscope in our survey. A fabric used to make jackets you selected, wool. What did the survey say? 23. A month of the baseball season, you said? May. Survey said? 19. Something specific that kids take to school. You selected? Lunch boxes, and our survey said? 30. You're over 100, Candy Man. Back to the teammates. Here comes Jim Ross, the color man who's been kept off stage. Come on, Jim. Up and over. Get in here. You need 95 points for $10,000 as you look straight ahead. 20 seconds goes on the clock. Revealing your partner's answers, good luck. We ask a hundred people, based on what you've heard or believe, what do you think you'd find in heaven? God. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? Five. A fabric used to make jackets? Cotton. A month of the baseball season? September. Something specific that kids take to school? Or lunch. Try again. Book. Turn around here. See how you did, Jim. Based on what you've heard or believe, what do you think you'd find in heaven, you said? God. Our survey said? Yeah. 24. An angel, the number one answer. An angel. How many days a week you read your horoscope? You said? Five days a week, and the survey said? Ten. Zero was the number one answer. Fabric used to make jackets, you selected? Cotton. Survey said? Only four. Wool, the number one answer. 57 points away. A month of the baseball season, you said? Playoff month, September. And the survey said? Five only. June was the number one answer. Something specific that kids take to school. You said? Books. Did 52 people say it for $10,000? What did the survey say? Come on. Oh. Number one answer was pencils, not given, but you got another $5 a point, giving you $840. Come out here and hug it. We're going to come right back. We don't want you to go away. See you in a moment. Thank you for watching our very special wrestling week. I present our Family Feud Wrestling Special to Sting, the heavyweight yeah, world wrestling right. champion. Oh, this goes for the whole game. Goes for the whole game. You made a very valuable effort. For the Family Feud and all of our wrestlers, Jackie Stallone's Glow Women, we thank you so much. Bye-bye.